Sports Talk, what's going on, man? Yo, man, Michael Jordan got fleece. <laughs> he got fleece, bro. Uh, I decided to make this video. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make it, but I see a, I, I see a lot of fans, Jordan fans. You know, they're, 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 they're on social media saying, "Hey, Jordan, Jordan won. He won. Yes, he bought the team for 100, 100 something million, 180 million. Now the team worth two billion." So which is which is good, which is good. But this is how you got fleece. The the, the minority owner uh, um, of, of the owners, because Jordan's the majority owner. He owned about what sixty two percent of the team. I mean sixty six percent of the team. Sixty six percent of the team, which is about what two third. You know my math, my math might be wrong. All right, but sixty six percent of of uh, of something, which, like, which is two third of the team. So the team being sold for three billion, so Jordan would get two billion dollars, right? Two billion. Plus, he have a hundred million dollars a year coming from from Nike sales, which is something he had nothing to do with. That's Nike handling all that stuff. They just giving him the money for the for the namesake, right? So okay, so that's two point one billion. So, but now the minority owner uh, of the owners, Gabriel, Gabriel, uh, Gabe Plotkin. Gabe Plotkin, who's, you know, he's, he's the, you know, he's, he's the owner, he's the CEO of uh, Melvin Capital, right? He used to work for Kenneth Griffin. Kenneth Griffin is, you know, he's, he's the richest man in, in Chicago, 32 billion, 30, 33 billion dollars. But anyway, he's a billionaire. Right, so both of those guys remember uh, uh, um, doing doing the the whole GameStop situation, right? There was a bunch of billionaires. They were trying to they were trying to short the stock to, so GameStop GameStop would fail, and, and you know what I mean they were trying to uh, eliminate GameStop, right? And it didn't work. Uh, they were trying to do it, and a lot of people, regular people, got got paid a lot of money. Um, what happened during that situation? Gabe Plot Plotkins, who's, who's again, he's a minority owner of uh, the owners. Jordan's a majority owner. They're best friends, right? They're best friends. But Gabe Plotkins used to work for Kenneth Kenneth uh, Griffin. Kenneth Griffin was, of course, again, he's the richest. Uh, he's the richest man in Chicago. Right, he used to work. Gabe Plotkin used to work for uh, uh, Kenneth Griffin. Kenneth Griffin, he's, he, he told Kenneth, "Okay, I want to, I want to do my own thing." So, he, so, so now he, he opened up Melvin Capital, which is, which is, what, which, which is why he's running now. So, they put Gabe Plotkin himself put four billion dollars into that deal. Total, all those billion, they lost about seven, seven point eight billion dollars in twenty twenty two. For, for 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 a bad mistake with with um, with GameStop that didn't work that fell, but Gabe Plotkin himself put four billion dollars, right? For, he invested four billion dollars for GameStop to fail. He told Jordan about it. Jordan told him, "Hey, put five hundred million dollars for me. It's like I owe you, right?" So. <laughs> when it fell, it fell. Now, Give Plotkin didn't have the the, the, the four billion dollars that he put he put up. That was somebody else's money. So he needed a bailout. He didn't have money to pay. Right? Everybody lost their money. He went to his friend, to his best friend, who, who, who you know he used to work for, Kenneth Griffin. Kenneth Griffin again. Kenneth Griffin give Div Plotkin four billion dollars. Right, he give him a bailout. So now he's good. But Jordan still owe Ke uh, um, Gabe Plotkin, Gabe Plotkin, five hundred million. <laughs> right. 
So, again, when Kenneth Griffin came for his money, remember, Kenneth Griffin gave, uh, gave Plotkin that $4 billion to cover him. Hey, you lost $4 billion. You need help. Whatever. I don't want your business to fail. You have to make payroll, whatever, whatever. Here's $4 billion. Now, give, give Plotkin, now, part of that $4 billion, Five hundred million, five hundred million of that four billion was supposed to come from Michael Jordan. So remember, I said Jordan told Gabe Plotkins, "Put five hundred million for me," and Gabe stopped. So it fell. So now Jordan didn't have the money. A lot of times, people think, okay, because you're a billionaire, it's cash on hand. Not not everyone have the cash on hand. Let's 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 give a perfect example, right? If you own four homes, right? You own four homes. Those four homes is worth two million. Your net worth is two million dollars, right? Your net worth is, is, is two million, right? That's your net worth. It's two million. Now, when you when you go, if you have a job, if you have money coming in, whatever. And, 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 and you eight you make five hundred thousand, so you were two point five, right? Two point five million. Two million five hundred thousand. Right? So that's your network. But if something happened where where you owe someone two million dollars, you don't have you have to sell your assets to, to pay them the two million you owe them. So yes, you're a millionaire, but you don't have the cash on hand. To be able to do that because your, your money tying an asset and different things so you can't really say okay let me write you a check for two million dollars you got to sell something in order to do it you have enough money you have you have enough li liquid assets for you to, to to live you have money to come in and to, to for, you know let's say you say your cost of your, uh, 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 your cost of living whatever um for you and your family is three hundred thousand a year you could live on three hundred thousand a year so you get in that money coming in. That this is whatever. So you, you can't afford to to give somebody a hundred thousand or whatever to do anything else because you say you know what? Because I, this is my, my this is what my, my living expense. That's what I want to do. I don't, I don't want to touch that. So it's like you know what? If I if I you don't want to go you don't, you don't want to have to go to the bank to, to to adjust that anyway. So Jordan, of course, he he get a hundred million dollars from Nike every year. So when he when he you know he didn't have so so him being worth two billion dollars one point seven billion whatever it is that's 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 because of the owners the team he owned the team he owned he bought the team for 100, 180 million right he bought the team for 100, 180 million dollars but the team you, you know you know the team got bigger and the team is worth two billion one point seven billion. Which is what he, which is what he is worth two billion. Okay, all right. Let's round it off to two billion dollars, which is what he he's worth two billion. That's why he's worth two billion. Assets, not cash on hand, right? So he made the bet. Well, he told Gabe Plotkin to invest in GameStop that five hundred million dollars for him. So hoping that GameStop will fail, he will get you know he he, he invest five hundred million. He's getting, you know, he's getting billions, right? But they lost together. They lost seven hundred, seven point eight billion dollars. But Gabe Plotkin himself lost four billion. But that four billion he lost, five hundred million dollars, was Jordan uh, um, um, word of mouth say, "Hey, bet five hundred million for me. I'll pay. I'll pay you." Hoping that no one, okay, all right, this is a short thing. We're gonna crash. We're gonna we're gonna eliminate this GameStop. No more GameStop, right? We're gonna eliminate it. I'm gonna make a lot of money, so he could get the money that 500 million dollars from that from whatever he's not paying me. So now, when when it didn't happen, mind you, remember Jordan is the majority owner of the on of, of the Hornets. Uh, Gabe uh, Gabe Plotkin is, is is the minority owner, right? And now. Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth Griffin decided, okay, you know what? I'm not going to let my friend go under. Kenneth gave, gave, uh, gave Plotkin 
fucking the, the four billion dollars to bail him out. Now Kenneth came a couple months ago, called Gabe Black and said, hey, "Okay, look, I want my four billion. I've given you enough time because that was in 2022. We're in 2023 now. So, so, so in May, in, 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 uh, um, in May Kenneth, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Griffin told uh, in May." Yeah, told Gabe, Gabe Plotkins, give me my four billion dollars back. Cause I've given you enough time. That was April 2022. Where right? I mean, I'm giving you a year to, to pay me my money back. Now, Gabe, Gabe Plotkins didn't go to Jordan to ask for the 500 million. What he did, right? Do other stuff, whether, you know, sold some assets, whatever. He, he paid. The four billion dollars back to, to 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 his friend uh, Ken, Kenneth um, Kenneth Griffin. Now he told Jordan, "Yo, I want my five hundred million dollars." Jordan doesn't have five hundred million dollars to 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 give uh, give Blackens. Here's how they fleece them: both Kenneth Griffin and Gay Blackens fleece Michael Jordan. <laughs> They fleece him out of his team. This is an opportunity. This is, man, I, man, for you fans who saying that, yes, Jordan made a lot, Jordan made, made a lot of money. Yes, he bought the team for 100, $180 million. The team is worth $2 billion. He's about, he about to sell it for $3 billion, Right? Okay. But when you're supposed to be able to pass this thing out to your kids, your family, they just fleeced you. So, so now, anyway, Kenneth Griffin to get uh, uh, get Plotkin to give me my four billion back. Get Plotkin sold some assets and, and worth four billion and give the money back to his friend Kenneth Griffin. Now they told so so now get Plotkin went to, to Jordan and say yo I want I want my five hundred million dollars back, right? Because Jordan what he was doing, Jordan was paying fees. What, right? Because he was paying fees, hoping that GameStop would fail. So what GameStop did, the, 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 the board of GameStop, they realized the, the CEO wasn't doing anything about it, right? He couldn't, he, he, they, they were tired of him. They fired the CEO. They, just, they fired the CEO and they just hired a new CEO. Uh, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, um, GameStop just hired a new CEO. It's a good dude, uh, uh, Ryan Cohen. GameStop just hired Ryan Cohen as a new CEO. Now, Ryan Cohen knew Jordan invested $500 million. He knew uh, Gabe Plotkin put $4 billion of, of his money. Plus, other people total $7.8 billion. So, Ryan Cohen decided to, to, put it, to, to put his own money, get the guys rich. Ryan Cohen is rich. He's his new CEO of GameStop. He put his own money in getting to GameStop to make sure that GameStop don't don't fail. So if GameStop would have fell, since, since now Jordan and, and all those people who, who who bet for the GameStop to fail, they would have made their money back. They would they, because you put money in something hoping that it would fail. If it fell, you get your money back. So now Ryan Cohen, who's the new CEO of GameStop, put his own money into GameStop. So so make sure the GameStop doesn't fail at all. So you know so. By doing that, by doing that, Kenneth Griffin said, "Hey, this is not gonna work. I want my four. I want my four billion back. back. I give you. A, give you a year. So, uh, 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 get plot. Um, get plot and sold his shares. Sold other stuff. Paid paid the four billion. Now, I told Jordan, I want my uh, my five hundred million dollar back. Jordan doesn't have five hundred million dollar cash on hand. All his money's tied. Yeah, he's a billionaire based on the team worth." Not cash on hand, right? So now what he did, Jordan said Jordan doesn't have the money. He decided to sell to sell the team for three billion, right? He's selling the team for three billion dollars. Since he's the majority owner of the team, he's selling the team for three billion. So the majority owner, he has 66 percent of, of the team, which is two thirds. That three billion he's selling the team for, he's gonna get two billion. So then, so now the minority owner of the team get one billion. 
because because he's a minority owner of the team. Jordan's a majority. So Jordan is selling the team to his bookie. So his bookie took the team from him. Dave, Gabe Plotkin now is the new, will be the, uh, once the ink dry, <laughs> right? Yes, Jordan got fleece. Once the ink dry, the minority owner will be the majority. And Jordan's out of a the team. They kicked him out. You're not part of that club, dude. He was a lousy player, lousy executive, terrible owner, and terrible uh, business dealer. The only reason the Jordan brand is successful is because Nike's running it. Jordan have nothing to do with it. Nothing. And that would have fell too. So give, <laughs> give Plockton, fleece Jordan. That's Jordan's best friend, by the way. He pretended to be Jordan's best friend. That's the guy. Okay. You have a best friend, a guy you close with. You bring the guy to your house. You helping him, whatever. That's your friend. But the whole time, the guy's, the guy, uh, I ain't your wife. The whole time, you friend with this guy. You his best friend. The whole time, this guy, I ain't your wife. The guy move, put and move on your wife. You out on the road. The guy sleeping with your wife. But that's supposed to be your best friend. Gabe Plockton is, jo you know, Jordan Michael Jordan's best friend. And fleece them out, 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 out of a team. Fleece them. Ask Jordan for his $500 million back. No one Jordan didn't have the money to pay him. He told Jordan, Jordan was like, okay, I'll give you payment. He said, no, I want my money in full. His best friend, his best friend said, no, I want my money in full. So Jordan had nowhere to pay him. Jordan went to Nike, asking Nike to borrow for $100 million. Give him, Give him an, an investment. Because, you know, okay, listen, every year, I told you, every year, because of the Jordan sales, Nike sent Jordan one million, uh, 100 million. Jordan went to Nike asking, you know, to give him give, give an advance. Nike told him, no. We'll give you 100 million dollars every year, like always, but we will not give you an advance. Jordan told them, give me 500 million, right? Give me 500 million. You don't have to pay me for 10 years. Nike would have made more money out of that. But they knew why Jordan needed the money for. They told, they told Michael Jordan, no. Sell your assets. And the only assets Michael Jordan have, the team. He is forced to sell that team for $3 billion. He's going to take $2 billion. Which is great. The minority owner will, will take one billion and be the be the new CEO, be the new owner of the team. Out of that two billion, Jordan gets. Jordan still had to pay him five hundred million. So so really, you one point five billion. So Jordan will no longer worth two billion. It will be worth one point five billion. But you now, now since it, it's been a year, when you owe money, you defer back, right? There's fees added, late fees. If they're blocking once, he could add whatever amount he wants for fees. So, so instead of giving him 500 million, you might have to give him a billion dollars. Since it's been a year, those fees are, are added up. <laughs> They, they fleece two billionaires, Chicago billionaires. They fleece Jordan because Jordan was walking around like he's a billionaire, and those guys have cash on hand. He say, "Hey, you not you 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 not part of that club." But Gabe Plotkin the whole time, the whole time, the whole time he had a whole game plan to take the team from Jordan because he knows this is what Jordan does. When Jordan was in Chicago playing, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly because I don't want to be sued. Jordan was out there gambling money he didn't have. A lot with, with some of the referees and, 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 and other bookies, with the mob. Gambling. Money he didn't have. All right? And where he was forced, 
That's why he was shooting like that you know, because he had to score a certain amount of points. But when he couldn't cover, they kill his dad. When Jordan couldn't cover, they kill his dad because he was out there doing bad deals, which is why the NBA. This is this is why Jordan retired. Because the NBA, after the investigation, they, they, they figure out all the stuff. There's a lot of stuff Jordan was doing to women. I'm not going to say he was raping women. I'm not going to say that. But I'm going to say allegedly. There's a lot of things Michael Jordan was doing to women. All right? Jordan was doing a lot of things out there. He was in a club every night, partying, doing a lot of stuff to women. Those things was coming out. He was out there doing bad deal with, with the mobs. He was out there with, 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 there's a lot of referees back then. You don't see right, right now in, in, in the NBA. They got kicked off. The NBA banned them. They kicked them out. Pay them and they, 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 they move from, from what they can't, they can't talk about it because they all, they all sign, sign NBAs. Those guys were helping Jordan win. I watched Michael Jordan in the game. He scored two points. He played 40 minutes. He scored two points. He was shooting all over the place, missing. The referees kept calling foul, foul for Jordan. They were trying to make sure he wins, but he couldn't make those free throws. Those referees were paid to do that, and Michael Jordan knew that. The, 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 the NBA, when they investigated, they found all that stuff out. It wasn't come out. Jordan was the face of the, of the NBA. They were going to lose. It wasn't Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley didn't want to be the face. He didn't want to do that. Magic Johnson was do, was dealing with a lot of stuff. They ate all the stuff. They were going to get, the, the NBA was going to give Michael, Magic, Magic Johnson a payout to leave the NBA because all the, you know somebody had to take the fall. But Jordan was the face. Of course, in Asia they love him. He was bald, whatever. Black man, they love that. They loved him. So he was the face of the NBA. But the, but one thing, all that stuff was coming out. So the, the NBA couldn't deal with that. The NBA couldn't deal with that. So what they did, they told Jordan, hey, you have to retire. Either you retire or, or we're gonna ban you from the NBA for life. Because because they had to take they had to do something. With, you know what I mean? They had to do something to squash all that stuff. If Jordan was still there, the light would have come out. But they had they had to do something to squash it. But with him retire, you know, you, you know, they pay the NBA pay a lot of people off. And that's what it, that's that's what it is, allegedly. They paid a lot of people off. So, and then Jordan retired because he was going to get kicked off the NBA anyway. Scottie Pippen was one game away from taking the NBA, uh, one bad call away from taking the Bulls to the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan told the referees to not let Scottie Pippen win. I'm not going to edit it. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Michael Jordan told the, to, allegedly told, told those referees who are no longer who are no longer in the NBA told them to make sure to make sure Scottie Pippen did not win a championship because that would that would that would put him. That would eliminate, you know, you know, that whole NS thing he had going on. And that's how you see the fans, his fans, who were a bunch of idiots, call him the GOAT. GOAT. I got a nice video coming up, you know, to talk about that too. But anyway, Jordan got fleeced by, 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 by Gabe Plotkin. He got fleeced. He was out there thinking he was part of that club, that billionaire club. No, you're not. You know you're not. Anyway, man, uh, 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 I hope, <laughs> man, shout, shout out to GameStop. Everybody, everyone, everybody in the mama I know is buying stocks in GameStop to make sure it stays, stays relevant. But well, Michael Jordan was trying, which did his, everything he could with his with his guys for it to fail, get people out of job, all that stuff. But it didn't work, my buddy. It didn't work. Now he had to sell the team. Yes, he made some money. He made some money. You bought the team for 100, 180 million. 
you're about to get 1.5 billion. So yes, you made you made you 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 made billions. That's good. That is great. But you have nothing to leave. You know, there's no there's no there's no ownership. Nothing that your kids could be because you you see you see all those NFL team, all the all those NBA teams. Those teams were passed on from generation to generation. A lot of them new owners, but but the rest, you look at the Lakers, passed on generation. The Raiders, generation. New England Patriots, generation. New York Giants, generation. The Rams, generation. Cardinals, generation. The Yankees, the Mets, all those top of team, generation. The Eagles, well, the Eagles are you know, you know, different. But I'm just saying, all those teams... They'll pass on from generation to generation. The father passed away. The mother passed away. They, they, you know, their sons, the daughters took over the team, those teams. Jordan kids can't do that. Jordan, like I said, anytime, anytime a former player call out LeBron James, you Jordan fans, you losers, quick to say, oh, yeah, yeah that's the truth. But, but when Jordan's former player call him out, you guys, oh, they delusional. No, my man, you delusional. You are a loser. You, you, I'm talking to you, a loser. Jordan fans, you guys are losers. This, you know what I mean? But hey, he just got fleeced. Somebody just took his team from him. His bookie just took his team from him. Man, whoo. Anyway, man, like, subscribe, and share. Peace out.